are these? Another asexual perennial with the same characteristics. This is penicillium, but you don't really need to know the uh, um, I told you kind of for which of those asexual perennials you're looking at. So as long as you know that this is spores, sporangium, sporangium for hypo, mycelium. Autotrophic or heterotrophic? Heterotrophic. Outside of a leaf, what's the plant tissue that's epidermis? Yeah. It's like epithelium in an animal, but just plain old epidermis in a plant. What tissue? Or what cells, either way? Stone cells, okay. And stone cells are what tissue? Sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma. So, the way you can see how thick the we don't know about this yet, right? We didn't talk about secondary primary cell. So anyway, this has got a real thick cell wall and these really long hip canals going through. But as it gets thicker and thicker, the cytoplasm inside dies, so you just have a lumen in there, just a hollow spot. Blink them up, aperture is dead, and you won't see any cellular residue in that hollow spot in the middle of the camera. What about this tissue? Nope. Look inside, we got cytoplasm. So that means it's alive. We've got thick corners, thin areas. Cholenchyma. So cholenchyma has cellular residue inside, thin places and thick places at the cell wall. Okay, up here, what tissue is this up here? I've seen this one already. Parenchyma, yep, got a little triangular gap in there. Okay, so, so what's this tissue? What's this thing right here? Second airspace. Airspace. What's this tissue here? The bundle. The bundle. And we've got two different types of cells here. What are these little ones? Companion cells. cells, the big ones? Sieve plates. plates. Well, the end of them would be sieve plates. The cell is a sieve tube member. Uh, so sieve tube would be good. So, sieve plate is part of it, not the part we see. And then what's this on the outside? Big walled cells, hollow in the middle. Bundle one? Chlorenchyma. A bundle sheet is a bundle of chlorenchyma. Oh, and what's this out here? Chlorenchyma. What is this we're looking at now? Eudicotyl leaf. <coughs> so we've got, what's on this on the top? Region right here. The yeah, palisade parenchyma, or this parenchyma would be good, I guess, for you guys. Fungi parenchyma down here, the lower epidermis down here. Stomata, guard cells with the hole, vein, bundle sheet, everything. That's got red ones or xylem, green ones or foam. So really, there's only like four. Four tissues: the epidermis, the parenchyma, the xylem, and the bone. So this now we're looking at a root. And again, we just single tissues again. So we've got parenchyma, and then in the central region, the next one, magnified. So, what's the big red X? Xylem. These little areas here. Layers of cells in between the xylem and bone. Cambium or meristem. And that's pretty much on this cell. Frank them out here. There's another root, root just a monocot root. So again, most of it's Frank them out. Frank them here, Frank them here. Big ones are xylem. Little green ones are claw. Epidermis on the outside. 
So, what's this? Want to cut or die cut? Die cut. Well, for, okay. Are these roots or stems? That's the first thing you can figure out. Stem. Stem. Okay. So, which one has a ring? Which one has scattered? Which is the scattered one? Monica. Monica, Monica has the ring. Have this one with the ring. And this one die cut. What is this? A monocot or a die cut? line right here. What is this line right here? What tissue? Is that the vascular cambium? Or the tissue is meristem? Either way you be okay. Outside of that, from here up to here, what tissue is this? Flow. So then on the inside, from here down to here, what tissue is that? Phylum. And then from like Right here, to about right here, this section of the xylem here to here, what specifically is that called? Summary. Uh, summary. Do you get a lot of water in the summer? No. Spring. That's the spring wood. Okay, cool. <coughs> and from right here out to here? Summer. summer wood. And then from there to there? Annual, Annual ring. Okay. And then you got these lines. Is it dead or alive? It's dead. It's dead. It's got real thick walls and it's dead. <coughs> well, these are fibers actually, right? They're not quite as, well, they're longer than stone cells. Stone cells are round. Fibers are long fibers. But structurally, they're the same. right here called? Pipe. Okay. And down here, see these little branches, little short branches? These are going down into food, like bread or hot or something. What would you call those? Rhizoid. Rhizoid. Hey, what do you think we're looking at here? Spores. We've got, definitely got spores, but the spores of what? What's this one? Yeah. That's the gill of a mushroom. Yeah. So, what phylum are we in? Um, 
might go. The video down. might go down. Okay. So then once you get that figured out, the rest of it is easy, right? So these four are called the city of four. The structure that produces them is a the city of Because we just call it the city of the little connectors between the basidium and the spores, kind of hard to see. Here you can see where the spores will talk, as well as spikes. And here you can kind of see it, it's only semi imagined right? What are those little structures called? Steroid. Steroid model. Are these spores one in or two in? One in. One in. One in. Are they sexual or asexual? Asexual. Where are they, where are they produced? Okay, sexual processes involve fusion and meiosis. Asexual is just mitosis. So, if there's four of them, that gives you a hint that they are made by sexual, sexual by meiosis. Yeah. That's a sexual source.